Now, new at 11, Westside High School football coach Shedrick Risper is so close to fulfilling one of his biggest goals. 41 NBC's Tucker Sargent joins us in the studio with more. Michael, yeah, the football coach by day and gospel musician by night is looking to add another title to his resume, American Ninja Warrior. He recently submitted his application and audition tape to the NBC show's producers, and it wasn't long before he got the phone call he was waiting for. Me and Coach Grew were sitting in the office when he, when he got the phone call. He took off running down the hall. We didn't know what was going on. He said, I'm in, I'm in. 43-year-old Shedrick Risper, known by most as Coach Spoon, loves NBC's hit show, American Ninja Warrior. It's a, a new avenue of competition, uh, not the typical uh, football type stuff that I'm used to. The head coach of the Westside Seminoles, who played high school ball at Upson Lee before moving on to West Georgia, and then the AF2's making nights, is too old to play football now. But that doesn't mean he's inactive. In my family, we've had issues with heart disease. Uh, my dad uh, had a, a bad heart. Uh, my great uncle had a bad heart. So that type of stuff kind of, kind of runs in our family. And I know that you can't control everything. But there are some things that you can control, so I try to exercise as much, much as possible. Normal weight room activities like leg press and squats will only get you so far if you're trying to become the next American Ninja Warrior. Risper drives to Marietta once a week for specialized training. I go to a Ninja Warrior training facility. It's called Ninja Quest. I met a guy who owns the gym. He's 55 years old, so he's, he's my inspiration. <laughs> Each workout at Ninja Quest lasts about two and a half hours. They're tough, Risper says, but worth it. If you've never seen the show on NBC, it's, it's very fun. Uh, a lot of di different obstacles, uh, tough, mainly dealing with your, your finger strength, hand strength, your core. If you don't have those, then you, you won't be successful at the show. Risper would know. He's been a fan of the show since the first episode back in 2009. My dad told me, uh, before he died, he, he, he predicted two things. He predicted that I would make the Sports Hall of Fame in Upson County, and I was inducted this past uh, February. And he also predicted that I would make an American Ninja Warrior. And when he, when he told me that, it was just something, the way he said it, said it I, I knew that I was going to make it. And here he is, just weeks away from a taped qualifier in Miami. I'm just hoping that I make making happy and my hometown, which is Thompson, Georgia, you know, I have so many people that are behind me and rooting for me and I don't want to let them down. Coach Spoon will compete against more than 100 other contestants in the Miami qualifier next month. The top 30 make the Miami final and the top 15 in the final make the show. How about that? We will be cheering him on. Season 10 of American Ninja Warrior starts on May 30th.